that's going to work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So technically, we're live right now. Right now. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. We've been live for like eight, seven, nine, ten seconds now. Oh well. Help. Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead. And let's do this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. So, hey, you know what? It's 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 been a while since we did a podcast uh, on on the YouTube channel. So we're gonna today we're gonna talk about the Manresa Castle because <gasps> we have been there and it's yes. haunted. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, uh it's no, it's cool. it's allegedly haunted, but <laughs> I don't um I I don't know. Do, do people actually have proof? Well, I wonder if people actually have well not 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 physical proof. I yeah. don't think, but because no fo- well, not that I'm aware of that they have any photos. Like but a, uh, yeah, but people have had plenty of experiences. Yeah, uh, even William had a bit of an experience. If you want to get down to the nitty and gritty of it, so yeah, I did, I did yeah. when we when we went there. Uh, well, I think it was an experience. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But it was uh, weird. So do I do we do we just want to spoil the video and I just talk about it? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. But well, let's <clears throat> let's let's give our let's give our uh, watchers our right. our opener. Yeah. 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 Our podcast is right. sweet. Do Actually, it's working this time. Do we have the music playing. Did I mute um, it? Um. No, nope, you muted it. There we go. There we let's go. Get some music on there too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> forgot to turn off the speaker yeah. again. Hopefully, it's not too loud and distracting. I don't think it was. No. Okay. Yeah. So, Manresa Castle. What kind of information do we got on it? Let's if, see. if if anybody doesn't know anything about it, right? So, let's see. I've got something here we can all look at. All right. So, we have here uh, the website Haunted Rooms America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we we was here. Yep, poor towns in Washington because mm-hmm. we live in Washington, the great old Northwest. I'll read a paragraph or two, and then if you want, you can read a paragraph or two. So there are reports that hotel rooms three hundred two, three hundred four, and three hundred six are frequented by two resident ghosts. There is reportedly a monk who hung himself in the castle's attic. And uh, by the way, we. We stayed at the room that's directly under that attic, which was awesome. We we yeah. specifically wanted that one. Yeah, really lovely room. Mm-hmm. It had it had its own bathroom. Yeah, you didn't have to share the community bathroom <laughs> with other people. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, to this day, people can still hear the footsteps of the monk in the attic. The other ghosts, uh, the other ghost is that of a young lady who had been waiting for her beloved to return from war. Then she heard the news that her beloved died in the war. She threw herself out the window and fell to her death. In the cafe, uh, which was once the chapel, drinking would spontaneously explode even when they are <laughs> on the hands of servers. <laughs> drinking would be would uh, spontaneous like drinking like as you're uh, drinking something it would uh, con- like that's what it spontaneous says. explode in your I, mouth. I think they meant to just. <laughs> I think they just meant to drinks. say drinks. Yeah, <laughs> uh, empty glasses would also turn upside down on their own. That's good though. That's that's good housekeeping. You yeah. don't want dust getting inside empty glasses. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, you, you don't stick your glasses upside right in in your cabinets, right? You used to flip them upside down. Right. So that way, could, dust doesn't get inside you, of them. The right. Those are saying you guys have these the wrong way. Yeah. No. I was like, what are you doing? You have these all set up wrong. <laughs> that's not how you put glasses down. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Right. Um, oh, one cool thing we we uh, we learned too is I didn't know. I guess the Ghost Adventures went uh, to Manresa Castle. I'm, yeah. I mean, it's been ages since I've watched any of their shows because they're starting to annoy me now. Yeah, I saw but, saw the pictures. We we, we kind of browsed over and saw. Oh, there's mm-hmm. pictures of them uh, there at the place mm-hmm. that we were at. Yep. For yeah. Sure. But wanna, uh, but pretty cool. I I can try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. History: The castle was built in 1892 as the home of Charles. Here's a name that's gonna. Fuck me up for the rest of my life. Eisenbeis? Is it Eisenbeis? 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 Yeah. Eisenbeis? And his wife, Kate. Mr. Eisenbeis was a prominent member of the Port Townsend business community. He had various business endeavors, which included a bank, hotel, brewery, which is pretty cool. I wish I knew what brewery it was. Yeah. Uh, Bakery, lumber works, and brick works. Uh, Eisenbeis? Eisen, yeah, Eisenbiz, whatever, was elected as the town's first mayor. 
Manresa Castle was the largest residence in Port Townsend during that time. It had 30 rooms and was called the Eisenbees Castle. German was that? Art- Ar- artisans? Artisans installed finely crafted woodwork and tiled file fireplaces. Uh, when we were there, we actually did a give it a shot right next to one of the fireplaces. Really yeah, nice. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Really nice. Um, when Charles died in 1902, Kate remarried and the house was left abandoned. Oh, oh yeah. Now, when we say Manresa Castle, um, a castle is just a nickname they gave it because it was a huge freaking house. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's not technically an actual castle. No. But because um, I was actually looking forward to that too when we went there. Yeah, I was like, oh, the four, oh, it's a castle. four foot thick wall. Yeah, with the, you know, the place with to, a moat yeah. and a bridge you got to cross <laughs> to get into it. You know, but it, all anything to say, it is still a fantastically humongous house. Yeah. Um, there's more to it though. So in 1925, an attorney. Uh, bought the property and made it a vacation house for nuns who are teaching students in Seattle. However, this did not work out quite well, and the castle became a training college for, um, was that? Ju- oh, the Jesuits. Jesuits? Jesuits? Yep. In 1968. Uh, the castle was converted into a hotel and remains the Manresa Castle. Yeah, they renamed it. Yeah. 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 And I believe they um, they added a wing onto it, if I remember correctly, like right. learning about it beforehand when it yeah. was a uh, uh, when the nurses when, or something or something like that. Yeah, when the Jesuits, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess say yeah, the Jesuits were there. They yeah. added onto it uh, that that great big section. In fact, part of our video that we did, uh, the guy explained a little bit about mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so also, on, and we're going to show you a little bit about that, about that because you know since we we, we, yeah. got to, we, we were there and there was a, a guy who works there he was the cook he's had his own experiences <laughs> that was actually his last day there too yeah and it was yeah. his last day yeah <laughs> that was pretty cool so the the stately Manresa hotel was designed to resemble a castle aside from providing well appointed rooms and suites for guests Manresa castle also has romantic gardens and uh, and banquet halls which will make your wedding day one of a kind oh i want to add too is like when we went there we actually went to their um Restaurant, really nice. Oh, restaurant. Yeah. They had uh, fabric napkins. That's when you know it's nice. <laughs> it was when they had fabric nice. napkins. And we get, we were lucky because that night they actually had a live jazz band, which oh, was yeah. really cool and amazing. That was that, that was, was great. That was one of my favorite parts about yeah, it was that yeah. uh, we the, had that. that it was, was it was a really sweet. great time there. Yeah, totally awesome. worth the money. So many people, many couples have exchanged their their vows in Manresa, and all of them are pleased with the excellent service and great planning which the staff has provided them on this on their special day. Uh, there are ceremonies and reception venues for both uh, intimate gatherings and large parties. The banquet room uh, can accommodate eighty guests. Uh, at a sit-down dinner. All right. And then they have uh, the Castle Key Seafood and Restaurant offer guests the best of Northwest recipes with fresh and local seafood. So basically, uh, you know, this this is telling you the, the really good reasons to go there. So it's haunted and it's great food and great place to stay, great service, things to do. There's things at Port Townsend that you can do too that uh, Port Townsend... Uh, actually, is a, is a really the main street is really nice if you want to just hit all the the restaurants on the beach and everything. That, and uh, uh, w- w- basically, like a whole bunch of uh, what do you call it, uh, antique shops and stuff. Yeah, like that. I yeah. think uh, when we got there, we got there a little early, and so we had to uh, kill some time. And I think we right. went down there. We oh, actually, they got Fort Warren. So oh, yeah. here in Washington, we got a bunch of bunch of Fort uh, Fort E B Fort Casey, and it's basically during I think World War Two. Where they were uh, protecting or uh, the Puget Sound area, and one of them up there is uh, Fort. I, th- I want to call it Fort Warren. I can't remember which one though. Right. But uh, yeah, you got that to go see there. It's really cool. So I can't hear this, but I'm gonna let this play, and we're gonna try to be quiet just a little bit, uh, and we'll we'll get through a little bit of our experience at the Manresa Castle. Yeah. So here's the uh, what was this guy? The chef? He was or the something? yeah. He was the the chef. Uh, let me uh, click over here so yeah. you can see what we're looking at. All right, so um, yeah, I, I I won't be able to physically hear it, but here we go. Yeah, I understand that it's maybe haunted as well. Hey, yeah, we're wearing so the same color shirt. So, maybe, yes. so yeah. we might do a little uh, research to see if it's, it's some. It's a it allows, it allows spirits to cross across. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it's uh, the few that are here all the time. Otherwise, it's kind of what guests bring things along with them. 
Gotcha. So you never know when and where and what. Another thing that we do is our show is uh, just trying to do fun stuff. Like we went to the Mount St. Helens Ape Caves. We went to the San Juan uh, Zip Lines. Uh -huh. And uh, so this is another uh -huh. episode. But every Thursday we we try a new beer. Oh. So I heard that there's a bar in here. So we're going to do an episode where we're going to okay. try a beer we've never had. Okay. Yeah. So we we'll, we'll try to do a beer that we've never had before, okay. which is almost everything. So, <laughs> so that'll be easy. So it'll be fun. And I'll give you a card later on. Did anybody bring a card? Oh, okay. Then I <laughs> yeah. No, I, business cards. I don't, I don't have a card. So you yeah. Do you got one? We, we gave them all away. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Cody oh, had I one. Think, yeah, I think Cody had one. Mm -hmm. He became a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What happened? No, in, in the in editing, oh, okay. uh, Pinnacle gave me some blank screens. Oh, uh, okay. Some. Stand up again. Really? <laughs> His last day. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm just helping out today a little bit. But yeah, there's a little girl that likes to, uh, she likes to try to sneak up on me. Uh -huh. And I can always tell, feel her. Uh -huh. I, I feel her more. I don't see, I feel yeah. And so uh, she always tries to sneak up on me. I, I know you're there. And then she giggles, runs out the door. <laughs> no way. Yeah, she likes to, she loves to, to okay. uh, play with the housekeepers. So okay. they'll be cleaning the room. She sneaks up and taps them on the shoulder. Oh, wow. And yeah, there's never anybody there. Oh, and neat. So, yeah, yeah. So. They'll have yeah. to have fun with that. Yeah, so, so, so uh, yeah, other than that, uh, Tate was the uh, wife of the original owner. And that happened to the building of the original house. Uh -huh. uh, and then everything else is done on my Jesuit priest. So, I think that it, yeah, everything we on the left is uh, new. Yeah. We stayed on that little pointy part. Okay. <laughs> on the other side. Was it on the other side? Yeah. And every once in a while, it's when the priest priest were here, the nuns from the St. John's Hospital across the street used to live here also. Okay. So a lot of times, just have incidents with the nuns who aren't okay. happy with their behavior. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll have to be uh, on so, the lookout for that too. Yeah. So have fun, <laughs> wander around. We understand that we, uh, if we wanted to look in the attic or the basement, just get somebody who might be available yeah, to help us. Actually, yeah. uh, I'm here for uh, about another hour or so. Um, maybe I'll find you before I leave, and I'll get the key and I'll give you the tour. Oh, awesome. That'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah. Here's a silly little thing we tried doing. <laughs> yeah, because we're we're gonna stay there. Yeah. She was nice enough to give us a tour. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> well, there is one little thing about it. Um, Aren't you haunted? Um, Aren't you haunted? William. <laughs> that room behind William right there, that was the room that put the great fireplace in. <laughs> yeah. That's not news. <laughs> Thank goodness. I can see the book. I can see your book. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're holding the book for goodness sake. Come on. Ghost story. So that's real? Yeah. Right up those stairs there, they had a great uh, breakfast in the morning. It's just a lot. The elevator? Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah. We've over like up and down the stairs a few times. So that's good to work on. Is that purple? Pink? Pink? Yeah, it depends on which camera is, is uh, lit up. <laughs> it's got a nice noise to it. Yeah. So, how long have you worked here? I've been on and off for six years. Oh, really? So, you know a lot about this. There's place. teenage yeah. Cody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've Back done uh, pretty much everything here. Have you done the spooky experiences? stories than my own. Um, there was a, one lady, she was here, and she was checked in, and she was in her room, and it was about midnight, and she woke up, and well, she wasn't asleep yet, but she felt like this whole weight, like a body on top of her, and it, like, she couldn't move, and she was really freaking out, and so by the time she finally got up, she checked her stuff out, she was like, she came down at like one in the morning, it was just, I'm out of here, you know, she was really freaked out. And then there's one other story where the, this woman, she uh, she fell down the stairs. 
Now, she said a ghost pushed her. She felt pushed, yeah. She felt pushed, but at the same time, this was also a wedding night, and there was an open bar. So, you know, that's a little more of a, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, let's see. I'll take you to the attic. Okay. Yeah, that was the uh, GoPro Hero 2. I think it still holds up. I mean, yeah. the coloring's a little weird, but it's not that bad. Right. Nice. With the wide angle going on, we wanted it wide. Have you seen their new GoPro? It actually has stabilization in it. I haven't. No, it's like the new, new one. It's like uh, even a newer one. Oh, even I've got better the nine. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I think it. Yeah, this one looks uh, more boxish. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, yeah. So I forget what they call it. Was that the Insta360? The door was already open and it's not supposed to. I don't know. It has all the, the module. Maybe. Module. Anyways. Oh, yeah, that's the ghost we saw outside. This was right, be, like, right during that, Halloween, I think. Or right before Halloween. Halloween. Right. Yeah. Do you Halloween It's a great attic. Yeah. Of course, when the Ghost Adventures went there, they cleaned it all out and decorated it. Mm -hmm. But not good enough for the mixed in team, though. <laughs> nope. So, our room was right below where we're about to go to. Yep. They still have a new. They have a new scene. Oh, some of the chairs are still there from when the, the Ghost Adventures were there. Yeah. Maybe we went there right after they did and it was still there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He has two nooses, I guess. Yeah. One did one fail safe. He might have been a heavy guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like, I don't know. Oh. Heard a thump. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Amen. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Get over here. That, I saw that thing move. Yeah. Uh, that white bar. Hello? It's right there. Hello? This thing. What moved? Uh, that moved? Yeah. That's what I saw him move. That looks like that's the cabinet that opened. What the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Yes. Sure got you. Sure got you. We got spooked. <laughs> I like. I like saw your little. Okay, let's uh let's pause it right there. So, which was uh, really cool the, what they did. So the receptionist when uh, when we uh, were there and we asked for you know if we can get a tour of the attic because yep. the only way to go up there is if you're with uh, somebody that works there. You're not allowed to just go up there by yourself, obviously. So they got a bunch of stuff up there but um but yeah uh her friends like showed up right before we went to go ask her if we can get a tour of the attic and so she gave them the key to go up there and on the way up there uh the door was already open by the time we got up to the attic and she was like well that's weird that shouldn't be open so I, I, even by then we were still we were like kind of unease mm -hmm. about going in there like oh okay that's weird hopefully there's no homeless people that just ran up here but as we were shown and everything, her friends were staged over in the corner. <laughs> and they, they moved something around and were like, oh, what's that strange thing? Let's go investigate, you know? And <laughs> and uh, by the time we, like, walked over there, when I, whatever I saw moved, and I looked down, and I saw this silhouette of something. And I've never seen a ghost. So I don't know, like, what to expect. All I saw was a silhouette of a person. And I was like, it's a ghost. <laughs> and you didn't see me. I think you might have heard me. I was like, oh. <gasps> 
<laughs> but I backed up a little bit, and that's when he jumped up at me. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, obviously he knew that I, I saw him. But uh, very funny, very yeah, great scare. Uh, yeah. Kudos to them on them. Yeah, the even though I was pissed at the time. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I want this to be a real fun. ghost. I yeah, want, I, want, yeah. I, want, I want this to be the real ghost. <clears throat> but still, I was really impressed that they spent the time to, uh, you know, to. To, to do that it, you know when we went there and talked to her they had already gotten the guys <laughs> yeah, up yeah. there in the attic you know uh, in place I mean the other girl was hiding too I, I don't yeah. know where she came out of I, yeah. I saw that I think she was a little bit farther to the left because the guy popped out was like and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden this other girl popped out I was like well, <laughs> where was she I didn't I didn't see where I she think, came uh, out of they should have oh they should have made noises like Oh uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Then I then I would have peed myself, and that would have been even greater. And I would have been like, I have a wet spot now. It's not a happy wet spot. It's a sad wet spot, and I'm very upset. You know, it's okay. I already pissed myself earlier, so I, I still feel comfortable. But uh, no, it was uh, it was great. It was a nice experience. Yeah, I, I, there's kind of a you know special place for me with uh, Manresa Castle, especially those people that work there. She said she worked there off and on for like six years, so she might even still work there. And, yeah. And if and if their bosses let them do that to their to their customers, then I think that's <laughs> well, a good place. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully they didn't watch your video and the bosses were like, "You're freaking fired," <laughs> or something like that. But I I hope not. Yeah. I hope if they watched it, they're all like, "Yeah, you gave you know, that's what that's what you're here." for you're here mm-hmm. to give our guests a great experience yep. and i think we did i think we gave it great praises about going there and and eating and the outdoors um yeah chris and i got a beer from uh, the actual bar lovely bar i don't know if you call it a i don't know if you call it a bar yeah. Um, what do you call like a like a really nice fancy bar? They have names. Yeah. I forget, but well, there's a picture of one right here. Uh, uh, that, yeah, that's it. So that's the bar we went into, and uh, we got a beer, and we were able to go outside. Right here. Yeah, we were able to go outside and uh, drink, uh, drink the beer outside. Yep, right outside there is where we drank it. Yeah, right. As here. long as you're, as long as you're on the uh, the property, you can take the alcohol outside. And it was at the end of the day, so the sun was setting. It was just lovely. I think we had a porter. Mm-hmm. And uh, but yeah, this is where we could get the beer. Yeah, and then they let you uh, uh, w- come out here to the garden, or you, you can go anywhere we, you want. Uh, yeah, as long we as sat on a little patio up yeah. there. Yeah, as yeah. long as you're uh, uh, on the grounds. Yeah, you can do. It. You can even take yeah. it up to your room. Oh, see this uh, where my oh, arrow yeah. is. This is the room that we stayed. Now, what the video you just watched, where the the noose was, that was right here in this in this yeah. Coney Tower bit right there. That's, yep. So that's where he hung himself, mm-hmm. supposedly. Yeah. And this is where we stayed the night. <laughs> yeah, right below it. It was great. Yeah, that was awesome. Of course, I didn't sleep very well. Uh, I slept. Uh, I slept pretty good. I, I I didn't sleep like shit. <laughs> now you had an experience. Now, um, oh yeah, yeah. When we were when we were <clears throat> when we were getting that tour, mm-hmm. um, William said that uh, he experienced like so something like tugged at his pocket like to keep him from going up the stairs maybe a little yeah so like from what the guy told us is like there's a little girl that likes to tug at your back pocket or whatever mm-hmm. and uh, when we were walking up there i'm already kind of a phobe about people trying to steal my wallet or something mm-hmm. and so but i felt something i felt something pull on my back uh pocket mm-hmm. uh ever so lightly though it's like it's almost like it didn't happen but it did happen mm-hmm. and that was my experience which i was like i, I think something just pulled on my, my back pocket but i'm not too sure but well, um, it might have been my imagination. Yeah, we also went into the a room <clears> where, so so we we brought some gear, and I uh, mm-hmm. we we analyzed the the footage, but we we went into the room that was the uh, like a dance hall like room or whatever. Yeah, so or, those stairs I was mentioning mm-hmm. earlier about where we had our breakfast, we went right up in there. Mm-hmm. The lights were out and. I think somebody was cooking food in the back. It might have been a ghost. I don't yeah. know, but I remember somebody mm-hmm. being back there, and we like we heard something, yeah. and we're like, "Let's go investigate." And I'm all like, "Dude, there's people that work here. Yeah, it might be somebody just trying to prepare." Or and they're like, "So we went like really late, mm-hmm. you know, and grabbed some voice recorders and yeah, and uh, and tried to uh, see if we could, you know, talk to a ghost. But mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, after listening to all that, I didn't get anything. But yeah. we could have made a, an episode really of it, but I I, d- I decided not to do Ooh. it. But uh, there's that picture right there. It has a. Uh, can you go back? The bar? Yeah. Well, no. Uh, click on the back arrow. Oh, there's a better picture of it. But yeah, click the previous. Uh, oh, okay. Never mind. It looks like one of the rooms. I don't know if that was one of our rooms. I thought it yeah. was a picture of uh, where we did our give it a shot. 
which was in the main uh, entryway. Lots of lovely pictures of it, though. Mm -hmm. I don't, do we have any more information on it? Um, it says what places to go uh, and stuff that I found, but uh, that's about it. Like oh, uh, right here, things to do. Um, here's the the room tariffs. Uh, here's yeah. the pricings. So if you're interested, um, actually they're they're not bad. Oh wait a minute, yeah I think yeah the tower suite starts at two twenty nine a night, which mm -hmm. actually isn't bad. And no, it's a nice day. It really is. Mm -hmm. And we had uh, Chor uh, Georgetown nine pound porter, and yeah. that was a very tasty porter. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. Mm. Yeah, this is the dining room, or one of them. This is the downstairs. Oh, you want to switch the your? Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. There we go. So yeah, here's here's this might be the dining room, but this isn't what this is where this we is ate where the... we ate the dinner. Yeah, yeah. Our our table was actually oh. right right here or here. Yeah, it was one of these. Okay, yeah. We were right next to a window. Yeah. So. And the band was playing. Right there, yeah. Right here. Yep. And, uh, yeah, it was really, really nice. Yep, really nice, really fancy. Thought it was amazing. One of the rooms. Mm -hmm. So, um, I would I would recommend it for sure. Mm -hmm. Really, really, really if, cool. If you know about it and you're kind of contemplating, or if you live around the area and you want something to do, I recommend it. I mean, it's really nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I recommend the suite. I was really, really big open area. Uh, the little circular part is like a like a table area you can go sit at. Mm -hmm. I think we did an EVP session up there too. Right. I think we sat at that table and we uh, we set up the recorder and we did an EVP, but we didn't really capture anything. I didn't hear anything. Right. But uh, we tried. Oh, Places amazing looking at night too. Oh yeah. Oh, it's it's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the, some of the stuff that we um, that uh, we did too is that we there, there's more to the tour. So she took us to like the, down in the basement. There was a boiler room. Oh, that's all, right. Yep. I didn't yeah. add those to the video, but uh, but she she kind of explained all kinds of stuff about that kind of stuff. So it was really really neat. So the the tour of the place and some history of the haunting stuff they're good at. So oh thank you. That's right. Yeah, su super super nice. So great experience because the staff is the hospitality awesome. yeah, yeah the hospitality was it was amazing and this this uh podcast is not sponsored by manresa <laughs> castle no we 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 very much enjoyed our time there <laughs> it was yeah. uh worth the money i mean there were five of us or four of us that went so chris sandy cody and myself and mm -hmm. uh the room itself i think it was about the same amount it was about 2 30 a night <clears throat> uh we stayed there for one night and then mm -hmm. uh the meal the meal is gonna be a meal <laughs> uh we had steak cody had crab that he didn't eat or lobster or whatever the hell it was i think i think it was octopus oh no he had a steak oh it yeah. was octopus yeah, that was it little tiny whatever he called those yeah the tentacle <laughs> thing yeah sandy's all like you're not gonna eat it and he's all like <laughs> i will too i'm a i'm an adult now well, after wear... you put it in your mouth these are gross yeah it's like yeah can uh, i have some of your steak <laughs> yeah <laughs> that <laughs> steak was amazing mm -hmm. it melted in my mouth <laughs> And I can't remember. There's only a couple of things that's melted <laughs> in my mouth so far. And that was one of them. <laughs> yeah. So I'd, I'd like to go there again. And because we have mm -hmm. a little bit more equipment than we had the first time, I'd like to go there with the experience that, that we have now Yeah. to go there again. Yeah. You never know. We might be able to get lucky and get something, uh, Actually, yeah, you know, something. caught on, on camera or on I would, audio. I would like to try and figure out what their slow season is. And that way when we get there, because when we got there, it was actually quite busy. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but there were uh, a group of bicyclists. Oh, that's right. And uh, they were like bicycling all around or something like that mm -hmm. doing some kind of they're, marathon thing they're going like yeah from long distance and yeah manresa castle was a stop for them yeah it was just a stop for them and they had no idea what that it was just a place for them to stay and so it was actually quite packed not only that but they had the live band so i'm sure um oh uh side note you don't have to stay in the castle to go to the dining room you can actually oh, just right. go there for a night to eat dinner and uh the live band was a little extra uh-huh 
but um, but yeah, you can just go there and and just yeah, you can go up to that bar and mm-hmm. uh, and uh, and just pick up pick a beer and yeah, you can you don't have just, to you don't have to um, stay in the in that because the bar is kind of small. Mm. It's gorgeous, but it's kind of small. But you don't have yeah. to stay in there. You can go outside. A lounge is that what they yeah. call them? A lounge? Yeah. When they're like fancy bars mm-hmm. or something like that. I can't remember. Or maybe I'm just making shit up again. <laughs> it happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that was really, really fun. Oh, um, I'm going to look up maybe um, paranormal events that people have had there. Okay. Uh, maybe some ghost stories about Manresa Castle. Oh, uh, we got Backwood Boondock Brewview. He says, pop top. Hey. <laughs> all right. <laughs> nice to see you. That's right. I should be watching that. God, it's been it's been so long. It's been so long. I wish uh, I wish it hasn't been so long. <laughs> Papa top. Papa top. Papa top. Papa top. Uh, okay, let's hear. So, uh, man, where's the castle ghost uh, haunting? Huh. Ghost stories. Ben Russell Castle pictures. Ghost Adventures. Of course, it keeps on wanting to pop up Ghost Adventures. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just, I can't get into their new stuff. I watched one episode and, like, everybody was being a dick to each other, and I just, like, I just can't watch this anymore. Mm-hmm. There's some great photographs of the place, though, for sure. You want to show them some? Yeah, um, I'll try. <laughs> or they just can continue to look at me, <laughs> like, oh, why, why are we looking at this? It's kind of like a train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> I want to uh, enlarge the photos over here, but when I do, it takes me to their website instead of showing me a picture. So. Yeah, yeah. There's a. Aerial view. Look at that drone shot. Oh yeah, and you can actually see like where they added on to. I think. So this, uh, was where my original. mouse is, is original. Yeah. Then and they... what they added was uh, from this wall. Oops. Son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, it is a bigger picture. Okay, so yeah, that that, well, that was fine. So from from this little pillar here to the left is new. So it kind of goes in a L shape right there. Yeah, <clears throat> and this is um, the bar area is in here, and you can come out and uh, yeah, and, and enjoy your drinks out here. Yeah, because in the uh, the door to the left, I think was the entryway to or the reception, and yeah. on the left of that was the room With that, where we uh, that we awesome did our, fireplace. We did the fire, yeah, there's a fireplace in there and stuff. It's really nice. Actually, I, I take that back. I think there's a, a, a grand fireplace right here. So um, that, th- this might be the bar right here. Yeah, uh, it's been a while since I've been there. But And when we talked to that gentleman, what we did was, if you follow my mouse, we walked uh, around the corner back here, and uh, I think it was around this back side of this or something. Yeah, because remember when I saw that pointy tower thing? Mm-hmm. So I must have been looking off to the left there, so the right there. Yeah, yeah, that one there was so what So it must have been at. off in that direction. But, but we were staying in this one. Yeah. Yeah, so that was grand place yeah pretty cool pretty cool so it says here that um still trying to look for some ghost stories i know there was a bunch of them uh the the girl that with the receptionist that told us there was one lady that stayed there and she was uh, on a business trip and she just wanted a place to stay Mm -hmm. and she went into a room i forget which room but uh she ended up leaving in the middle of the night she's like i just can't do it i can't do it there's too many creepy things going on like something's happening and i just and she left i don't like it and uh yeah so it says here, room 302, uh, was that the turret room? Below the attic in which the priest hung himself. So I think that was our that's, room. That's our room, yeah. Was 302. Then 306, the room where a young woman named Kate, a visitor when the house was... Mm, let me get this a little closer to my eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Uh, the room where a young woman named Kate, a visitor when the house was a private resident, allegedly threw herself out a window after learning her fiancé was lost at sea. That's so freaking sad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we know what's more sad is that she killed herself 
but it was false news. Yep. The guy wasn't dead. The fiance later provo- uh, pro- uh, proved to be alive, the, uh, the story goes. Okay. Uh, both rooms are next to a to the staircase leading to the attic. Step, uh, skeptics turns believer. Um, what was that? Addison's wife was a skeptic. Uh, he said, until the first night they stayed at the castle, she had walked downstairs about midnight to get some ice and was in the breakfast area, which uh, those staircases that I mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. um, in the reception area. Uh, she had walked down uh, downstairs uh, blah, uh, bre- breakfast areas breakfast area when she saw an elderly woman in an old-fashioned white nightgown near the kitchen door he said uh, she went and asked the night manager if there was still staff working down there and he said no Anderson said or Addison uh, another visitor uh, Rita was lying in bed when she had felt the feeling had the feeling somebody was looking at her uh, then heard a whooshing sound by the window he said why does it say she had the feeling and then all of a sudden it says he said yeah I don't know <laughs> um, some of these like bad I, writing I don't know if it's bad writing or bad <gasps> reading from William because reading from William is not good <laughs> reading. But there was one web page. Remember, I said that it everything yeah. changed because it said the the robed man, you know, the priest man, yeah. hoe hung himself. He's a hoe. Yeah, he's a hoe now, yeah. and it's like, oh, well, you know, to each his own. <laughs> hey, if you got the looks, you got the looks. You know, some people need the money, and they don't have the money. But anyways, so. <laughs> Uh, Rita was laying in, feeling like somebody was watching her, and there's a whoosh sound by the window. He said, later that day, the couple uh, brought the book Ghost Stories of Washington, which had a chapter on Men Ressa Kessel. They discovered that other people had had the same experience. Addison said, noting phrases, Kate was looking at a married couple and thinking of what she had lost. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, that's so sad. Oh, yeah. That is so sad. I think I'm breathing into my mic too much. <sighs> <sighs> I wish my ball filled her. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else have we got? I'm like Bill and Murray in Ghostbusters going through <laughs> Snake Snake Ray. I can't say her name now. Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver's apartment with a ghost detector, Addison said. So what, what, he did some investigation? The Addison's strange hobby grew out of hosting scary parties of their son's dawn. Now a 23, whose birthday is near Halloween. Now seasoned ghost hunter, they travel with the tools of the trade. An electromagnetic field monitor, infrared thermo monitor thermometer thermometer uh, a night vision camera and a tape recorder I'm like Bill Murray and Ghostbusters <laughs> uh, Addison said that said he used the night vision camera to capture orbs I'm sorry I don't believe in orbs yeah I think there's too many things that can be I mean I, not that I don't believe in orbs I just think there's way too many different things that could be mm-hmm. they could be ghosts it could be dust and they're like dust doesn't move this way it's like dude I Life's think, weird. <laughs> I guess I just don't understand it. I mean, uh, yeah. it, it could be, uh, you know, something to it, but it also could be almost nothing. Yeah. I mean, uh, just like even in water, because you wouldn't really think about it, but when you go down in water, there's rivers in, in the ocean. Mm-hmm. Uh, the temperature of the water can make a current and make an actual river inside the middle of the ocean. Mm-hmm. So who's to say that in the whole world, in a, in a room, certain temperatures and areas can cause like a little little tube area in which if you put a piece of dust inside of it it will like look like it was just going this way then all of a sudden whoosh, right because it's a little air river thing if that makes any mm-hmm. freaking sense i don't know but anyways they capture orbs in addition and uh in a, uh, hey, here's the video where we uh 
had the beer in that really cool room. Oh, yeah. That way we can get a little bit of uh, footage of what that room looked like. Yeah. Oh. And honestly, when we were filming <laughs> that, Cody looked out a window and said that he saw something. Right. And so we went outside to look around, and that window was a good six feet. The bottom of the window was a good six feet off the ground. So you couldn't, even, even if somebody walked by it, they would have to be like nine feet tall to be to notice them that they're walking by it like a normal human being. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Hey, look at all the woodwork there. So this is the yeah. window that uh, we're talking about. It was over here. So I'll play this. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to drink a beer that much? Are we just giggling? We were. <laughs> I think they gave us uh, two different beers because one of them was at the bottom of the keg, which made yeah. it like they gave us the last of that. They didn't beer, charge. They didn't charge. They didn't. One. Yeah, they didn't charge us because it's like this is going to be nasty. So. <laughs> So we're sorry. So they gave us two different beers, shot. and I think and we did right both of them. Manresa Castle, and when you first come into the castle, where the checkout, you take a left, and you're in this awesome uh, lounge area. And that's yeah, where we're very, sitting right now. It's a very nice. Lounge. They're they're really letting us have free reign of the place. We can go yeah. anywhere we want, very and cool. we thought uh, that this would be a great place to sit here. Now, the, we were uh, uh, at, uh, in the bar area. And, and she ran out of the place is just gorgeous. <laughs> so she couldn't get it two is. glasses of it. Yeah. So we got two two different cups of beer here. So one of them is the and there, Port we show the third beer uh, over there. IPA that yeah. They, yeah, which yeah. is the here. lighter. So these ones are good ones, but yeah. that other yeah. one was that. <laughs> it was Belgium. the bottom of the ba- the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> yes. so they mean the which bottom is, of the uh, barrel. They mean the bottom of the barrel. It just is going to be nasty. We're going to drink which one, and it's not yeah. really to grade it so much as just to enjoy it yeah. while we're here. We'll still grade it and tell you what we think of it. But I'm going to kind of want to get to where it is. Chris is going to flip the point. Yeah, we might show a bit of the play. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Go skip it to you. So. This is just a gorgeous. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we're looking around. It is. It's very, yeah. There's a boat up there. I even it. Chandelier. I forgot about the Runs chandelier. The woodwork. Oh, look at the. So. Yeah. Oh, they had some uh, books there too, bad, actually. But it's just really. Mm-hmm. High I remember looking at a couple of them, here. pretending I knew how to read. Yeah. Well, I'm not <gasps> they have a little organ. Yeah, so we we're over there. Bitter. Yeah. So I think it was toward the end where Cody so said that he thought he saw something out there in the back. But I don't think we talked about it on this video. But after we shot the video, we kept it recording, and I think we. I can hear you. Um, <laughs> it might have been part of our uh, our, our, our other part of the yeah Manresa Castle. Yeah. So we we. That, yeah. Oh, that's where he uh, thought he saw something. Yeah. Oh, he just darted right for us. Like, where is the guy? Yeah. He just saw I something. I just saw something. Yeah. Well, there are people around here, though. I got pissed off. You're supposed to be filming us, Cody. <laughs> is, I don't give a shit. If it was a man with a knife, I don't so care. So I to walk back there. It's kind of like out of the way. Yeah. So that was pretty there. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Reason. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe. Could. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is uh, this is what we read earlier. Yeah. I'm on. T- I found the same website, Haunted Rooms America. It's pretty cool. They can check the availability and uh, go there. Then Manresa Castle itself has its own website, and you can go there and uh, oh, they, and, they do uh, rent out the uh, yeah and get the room. Trying to find uh, some more ghost stories about the Manresa Castle. Captain Dynamite IPA. Mm-hmm. I like my new Belgian. Yeah. I think this is a rotating one, but I think it's been out for a while. It's good stuff. It is. <clears throat> it is, it is. History. Actually, wow, this is a nice website. So hauntedhouse.com has uh, some more information on it too. Them actually have more information. I would try to read it, but you guys wouldn't like that. <laughs> Like what the hell word was he trying to say? Oh, that's called the William. It's called it's spelled T H E. It's, it's not hard. <laughs> God. God, really lovely. Go there. Go to that website. Uh, haunted house, hauntedhouses.com, and they got some really gorgeous pictures of uh, some of the furniture. Can I show these to you? There you go. You, you can see them fine. 
So hauntedhouses.com. Yeah. Uh, go to the Google search and just type in hauntedhouses.com. This was researched by Olympic Peninsula Phenomena Society, who found a 1943 newspaper article that told of his demise from drowning in Puget Sound. What is that about? So, which picture is it? Oh, go to uh, search all. All the way to the uh, left, right after news, search. Uh, there you go. Click on that. Haunted houses is that yep there you go go to uh search huh go to the search okay and just type in manresa castle okay a boom and really nice website they have uh some great pictures of the the house there's where we um i'm oh, i'm looking at a completely different picture but anyways click on the uh there you go read more manresa castle there you go it's hard for chris to see the picture it's like way off to the side there you go boom so that's where we sat at yeah we, we were did, on this uh, table right yep. there yeah i thought we were next to a fireplace but i guess not I was mistaken. I, I think there's a f um, there's another room that has a pretty fantastic fireplace in it, and so we just kind of associated that yeah. that room with it, this one. It was years ago, mm -hmm. back when I was a youngin. Mm -hmm. Right there is where we sat. I love the furniture they put in the place. They still kept it to the era. Yeah, look at um, right here our, on our the YouTube oh. or the YouTube that I was at. Right, see, <laughs> yep. that that table and that right there is is uh, is that. Um, during the day, when we were here, yeah. it was uh, nighttime. Yep. And this picture is during the day. Look at that! They still got the same drapes and everything. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. The rope on it and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, oh, here's one the of the hallways. Yeah, the, the stairs, the stairs going, going to that attic. That's right. Yep. Those are the stairs going to the attic. That's where I felt my pocket being tugged on. Mm -hmm. Was on those stairs. Okay. When we we're going up it, that's when I noticed uh, where I felt something. Uh, that's our room. Oh yeah, here's our room, and it's all discombobulated. Yeah, look at that. Someone yeah. really. That's a. I, I'm glad they put this on the website. <laughs> this is. Do you think this is? This is pre-sex or after sex? Uh, pre-sex, because I slept on that bed. And nothing happened. Trust me, I know. Uh, yeah, because uh, uh, and that's why we did the uh, little I, EVP. Because I've seen pictures where they. Uh, I've seen that there's a bed in this circle portion of the room, but now they yeah. have a, a round table, which I think is fitting. Now. This is the bed that they put here. This is where Cody and... Me. Um, uh, this is where both of us slept, yeah. Yeah. And then there's a room to the left of this arrow that is another bedroom, and there's yeah. a bathroom in there. So yeah, that's a... Apparently, guess, a lot of the other rooms, they um, don't have a bathroom. There's a hallway bathroom. Yeah, the community bathroom. Yeah. yeah. So that's one kind of downside. Yeah. I do kind of wish I would have went... Because they offered me the, uh, the, um, the, the fold-out bed or whatever to bring it up there, and I was like, nah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I trust Cody not to touch me at nighttime. <laughs> Little did I know, Cody just moves the living <laughs> fuck in his sleep. He's just he's just tossing it, turning everywhere. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I should have got a different bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, history of manifestations. Mm, there we go. There are a variety of possibilities of whom is haunting Manresa Castle. Not everyone agrees on who else, uh, who what who these spirits could be. People who love their dreams homes sometimes turn in their return in their afterlife for a visit or an extended stay. I'm a terrible reader. You go ahead, Chris. Okay. Well, there's this. <laughs> oh, the speaker's in, in the way. way. <laughs> Manresa Castle was the dream mansion slash castle of uh, Charles Eisenbeers. Eisenbeers. That's the other one. That's the Eisenbeis. Eisenbeis. Thank you. The reason, reason why I think it's Eisenbeis is yeah. because the first um, IE, mm -hmm. you would say I, I mean the EI, e yeah. and there's a second EI. Why yeah. not say if you started Eisen, 
finish it and keep it going buys eyes and buys eyes and buys and if you're, it's going to be Instead eyes and bees then it should be e's and bees e's and bees maybe it is e's and bees i think it's eyes and bees i'm gonna go with e's and bees sounds, i like e's and bees but it's, it sounds um <laughs> i don't know it sounds german eyes and bees oh yeah. it, that, that's 100 percent german i think uh, <laughs> and his family uh was that magnificent place that he loved uh, only lived in for 10 years so that's a good decent amount of yeah time. that's a long time 19 or 1892 to 1902 so uh his second wife kate oh his second wife what i'm to his first wife uh something bad probably happened really enjoyed living their life together at eisenby's <laughs> castle eisenby's <laughs> eisenby's uh castle uh, and loved to entertain with flair, uh, flair, the upper to entertain with flair, uh, the, the upper, upper crush, crush of Port Townsend society. society. There you go. Just yeah, scroll it up so you can get past yeah. your speaker. <laughs> so besides Charles and Kate, others who lived there may also have chosen to visit or stay. Children and other others who lived. I'm sorry, <clears throat> children and others who died unexpectedly from an accident or illness sometimes like to stay at their favorite place in this world, especially if family is still living in the home or perhaps are spending their afterlife or parts of it there in spirit form. <clears throat> Lada Eisenbeis, granddaughter of Charles Eisenbeis, she died at the age of 13 of a heart infection on March 20th, 1907 in a Seattle hospital. She probably loved her grandparents castle if her grandpa was there in spirit form she probably wanted to stay with him so that's another reason why there could be a haunting there is because she wanted to stay where grandpa was so at the age of 13 so she's the yeah. one that they believe is grabbing people maybe that's maybe. the one yeah entity of father john alden murphy mm, yep so probably an instructor at the college this was so this was researched by Olympic Peninsula Paranormal Society, who found a 1943 newspaper article that told of his demise from drowning in Puget Sound. Thought, or Though his body was never found, perhaps his body sunk to the bottom and was pulled out by the strong currents of the sea. His clothes were neatly folded on the shore, suggesting that he was taking a recreation swim in the water on September 2nd 1943 but had some sort of unexpected deadly mishap perhaps some sort of health issue father john alden murphy's death certificate states that his death was assumed to be accidental there was no suicide note and perhaps it was part of his daily or weekly routine to swim in puget sound it's good exercise mm -hmm. great exercise cold a lot of people do that it's like the cold uh is it like helps with it yeah yeah like makes you body yeah burn more energy uh, yeah. burn more calories big time more that. calories right so, right yeah. the following two well-known and well-reported stories about english female entity kate and the jesuit student priest have been strongly denied by the uh, present management who claim these stories were made up by the bartender around <laughs> eight years ago to explain the considerable activity experienced by numerous guests and staff members. I can see this happening as a as a means to satisfy all the questions from the curious folks. Mm -hmm. However, by however my sources that reported um, this side of the story offered by the management didn't follow up and ask the name of the bartender so they could interview this fellow who supposedly made up the ghost stories uh, of, of woe and tragedy. No hotel wants two suicide uh, uh, suicides attached to their business, or perhaps they wanted to play down the fact that uh, they have some mostly unseen spirit spirit people uh, guests. guests enjoying their establishment. So, uh, maybe it was that one guy we talked to. That yeah. was that's why it was his last day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guy. Yeah, that's your last story. <laughs> he, you know, he, yeah, he was like, I gotta get this one out here, man. This is my last day. What happened? Oh, they, yeah, no. I, I don't, mm -hmm. I'm just joking. He was a really nice guy. He was. Yeah. Though the stories are somewhat plausible, the there are stories on hauntedhouses.com of women who find themselves pregnant or just alone who wind up killing themselves when they feel their beloved as has abandoned them. 
uh, or their beloved is thought to have been killed. Men also have killed themselves over a love lost. Story legend. As told supposedly by the bartender, a picture of a young woman thought to be English Kate hung on the wall as of 2008. A young English woman, Kate, came and stayed at Manresa Castle in 1921 to wait Mm. for her beloved to return from the sea. Perhaps she was a relative of the caretaker uh, who stayed at Manresa Castle as one looking for or when looking after the place. Disaster struck when her beloved ship sunk, and <clears throat> it was feared that all had died aboard. In her great distress, she killed herself by jumping out the window from the three, from room 306, uh, not able to cope with life without him. However, it was learned afterwards that her beloved had survived and had been picked up by a passing boat. Story legend number two, his added twists were revealed, confessed to in- investigator, author Jeff. Uh, t- that's a weird word. Uh, I don't Doer. know. Doer. 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 Yeah. All right. Doer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. By, that sounds right. So yeah. By by female spirit, by the female spirit, um, thought to be English Kate herself. Hopefully, she felt some place, some peace in telling uh, what really happened. If uh, this indeed is true. It's it, it. You might actually be able to look that kind of stuff up. Um, I know the guys from or um, small town murders. If we get him on the case, he can like look up anything, right? Because th- he does an exceptional job on like looking up small town murders and like he looks up all the information on it. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he could probably figure this out. You like look up obituaries for that time period and see if there's a Kate. Uh, suicide death and maybe look up where it happened and it might be able to uh, give some evidence to whether or not that story is true Mm -hmm. so but uh, either way even if it was just the bartender making up crap it's I guess entertaining to people regardless of how sad it might be yeah but it's just entertaining but the little girl that died because of heart conditions yeah that's sad yeah but that's the early age for, for you. I mean, back in the 19, uh, the early uh, 1900s, healthcare was decent, but not decent enough. Right. And, yeah. Because it was such a long time to wait, she became lonely and got tired of waiting. Kate went out to have a good time and inadvertently became pregnant. While Kate was very upset with uh, when she heard that her fiancé's ship had sunk, she mourned for weeks. Kate panicked when she learned that he had actually been saved from saved from the sea by a passing boat. Probably at the same time, she realized that uh, she was with child. Too ashamed to face her fiance, she jumped out of the window, killing herself on the sidewalk in front of the castle. See now, the uh, this would kind of leans to the more of the factor that it might be a false story is that it keeps changing and evolving. Mm-hmm. And because it used to be, she killed herself thinking that her fiance was dead. Yeah. And only for him to be alive. Now she killed herself because after she found out her fiance was dead, she went out and got pregnant, found out he was alive, so she killed herself. So I mean, it's hard to say whether or not that true. That story yeah. is true. I mean, the the thing of it is, is that uh, the the uh, let's say the fact is is that a woman jumped out the window mm-hmm. uh, without leaving any kind of a note. It's, yeah. It's not really a story changing. It's like what. Yeah. What probably happened yeah. is we look into her. Oh, we look into her life a little bit and find out that her, you know, her, her fiance uh, was on that boat. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's not that. So it's... So ch- try to look for similarities in all the stories. Yeah, and those might be the true facts. Because she didn't happen. run around saying, "I'm going to jump out this window because my my husband died." Yeah, it was just, so all of a sudden she's on the ground dead. So it's like, all right, well, we got to. So after, people are after a few speculating. Weeks, after a few weeks, you gotta yeah, you put some people um, are speculating on what happened. Put it together. Yeah. So shame and guilt suffered because of a of a big sin, and or being wrongly accused of something can cause hauntings as well. So here's another legend story: a wayward Jesuit priest in training, uh, told by the bartender. So this is the Jesuit priest who uh, supposedly hung himself uh, okay. up in the attic above the room that we stayed at. Yeah. So this young Jesuit priest. In training, who may have had emotional issues, broke the rules of behavior by having unsupervised visits Ooh. with a nun <laughs> uh, residing in town. Yeah. So when called on this after 
he was caught, he probably experienced some scorn, punishment, and, and uh, derision, and a threat of expulsion causing him to become dis distraught and unhinged. So they may have caused... Accused. They may have accused him of having carnal relations with the... Uh, while he just was talking to her as a friend, yeah. or perhaps he did fall in love with her and did have intimate relations as he was accused of doing. Uh, he is said to have hung himself in the attic from the rafters that supported the turret above room 302. That was our room. Yeah. So <clears throat> while there is no record of a Jesuit student, student hanging himself in the attic, this is an event that if it happened... Uh, would probably have, you know, been, been kept quiet. Yeah. Because this would be a terrible black eye on the Jesuit college. Manresa Hall, that one of their own committed uh, cardinal sin on their watch in their building. So, yeah, that would be really bad. Yeah, so, that would be like a mark on their record, and they're like, yeah, no. Yeah. Only that, if that would truly happen, I don't know what to make of that. I mean... Yeah, somebody but, falls in love with somebody, and yeah, you gotta you gonna yeah, you gonna do what you want to do, but yeah. um, at the, at the same time, uh, you know, you, there's rules. You yeah, know, the rules rules that is true. Rules are, nuns, rules are rules. Nuns and Jesuit <laughs> priests they're not supposed yeah. to have that kind of uh, relationships. I uh, guess I guess the way it is is like, hey, if you guys want to do this, but you know the rules, you can't be with us and and have that relationship it's either you guys want to go and have that relationship or you want to be a priest but like they said that you know he might have been uh, only friends with that nun that's yes, true oh yeah and, maybe and it was like uh just people talking smack and he was like no man we're just friends yeah but then he was gonna he was and getting people, in trouble anyway yeah. it's like oh screw this he's like nah, forget it i already yeah. have he already had health or mental issues maybe mm -hmm. and he's like you know what? yeah this is it that's the final factor thanks mm -hmm. dicks yeah you know so, Sad. while there is no record of a Je Jesuit student hanging himself in the attic, this is an event that, if it happened, would probably be kept quiet because this would be a terrible black eye on the Jesuit college. Did I just read that? Uh, okay, so... Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, so, though his death certificate would um, would have been a public document, perhaps uh, they just caused... Uh, perhaps they just used his civilian name instead of his church given church name. name. Okay. So Port Townsend officials were very sensitive about suicide and the embarrassment of the people left behind. Okay. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. So maybe yeah, maybe they So they give him a different name when he So you got a, I guess you get a Jesuit name when okay. you become a Jesuit. Mm -hmm. Uh that but then of course, you know, you had an original name. Yeah. So his Your death certificate would be probably the original, original name, name. Yeah. to to save face a little bit. Yeah. So, while there's no record of a Jesuit student hanging himself in the attic, there is uh, a recorded story of another suicide connected to the original Eisenbeis family. People who commit suicide often find that this desperate act doesn't give them the peace and escape they were expecting. They sometimes try to find the peace they didn't have while alive in a place they know and love. Mm -hmm. So, Charles, son Charles, Junior. Charles' son... Charles Jr. Yeah, Charles son, Charles Jr. Okay. <laughs> or no, there's still an apostrophe there. <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, no, me too. So, anyways, yeah, Charles, Charles Jr. Jr. <laughs> killed himself in the basement of the Baker Building in Port Townsend uh, on September 29th, 1897. Perhaps his business was failing, or s some other tragedy he couldn't face pushed him over the edge of insanity. That's of, of sanity. So he probably grew up or spent some time in the beloved family castle and if his father was there in his afterlife perhaps charles joined him there afraid to continue on to the other side because, because of, of his actions, actions. Yeah. Mm, that could be another one well, interesting yeah that was that was nice i like this website it's a nice website i'm i'm actually going to have to come back here and look up some more haunted houses so this is the things that uh the activity so in the attic which would we were um uh, above where we were staying yeah this is the the some of the reports that people um so so it says in the attic guests report hearing footsteps walking in the space above their guest room 302 oh we didn't hear any footsteps no um sensitives feel an energy presence in the center of the attic an EVP of a male voice was caught here, saying, "I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here." Like, hello. 
Are you here? <laughs> no one's here. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, holy shit, it worked. <laughs> the entire third floor is said to be haunted, active with paranormal activity. It seems to be a favorite area to tease the living for chuckles. <laughs> Yeah, so that's right. pretty good. All yeah. right, you want to end this here? Yeah, we've already uh, we've been on this quite a while. I have to go pee. <laughs> there's the there's, <laughs> there's an important that. there's an important reason right there where we yeah. need to stop. Yeah. All right, you guys, thanks for for watching and uh, and uh, yeah, pop a top there. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for thanks for commenting. Yeah. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. So um, yeah, I w- we'd like to, to to do a podcast, paranormal podcast uh, on on YouTube uh, on a regular basis. So yeah, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Later, or laugh.